sorry y'all this video was meant to be a short but it's running a little bit longer and you got it. This, this, i'm gonna crochet these locks onto this ponytail holder and i'm gonna make me a faux ponytail and make it into like a faux bun let me see matter of fact i don't even need a crochet needle so i got this i'm gonna take it uh oh come on baby put it up in there like this and put it through the loop Put it through the loop. Come on. <laughs> put it through the loop. And then we got one in here. And we're going to go ahead and just put the whole little pack on. And it's going to be a ponytail. Let me show y'all one more game. Pull it through there. Loop. Take the tail in and feed it in there and just, and then just, you know. You wanna try not to get the ponytail holder locked into, you don't wanna try, you don't wanna get the ponytail holder locked into the loop because it would just shorten the ponytail holder the amount of space that you have to wrap around your hair or whatever you wanna do. I got two packs of these. And they were like the two times in the pack. And I paid $5.99 for each. Well, no, I paid $5.99 because they were buy one, get one free because my um, hair supply store is going out of business. So they got this huge sale going on. So look, I can make four ponytails out of what I got. But I'm using this one pack and making two ponytails. And then I used one pack to make one whole ponytail with both of the two packs. So listen. Happy hour, here I come. We're going to see what style we're going to come out with. But these are cute. And I had already attached it. Like, it looks, you know, it. I didn't braid it. I mean, I didn't brush them or anything yet. Because I think I might brush it a little bit. But then again, I don't know. Just because I don't want to look too uniform. Because my locks aren't uniform. But um, the only thing is they didn't have, like, my type of like red, but I was like, it's okay. I can live without that. I can get it another time. Yep, so that's one little ponytail. Now, if you want to double it, this is the one pack of them, and this is two packs doubled together. And this is like 20, I think it was like, I think I counted like 28 locks. And this is the one whole full ponytail. And then this is the half. So I'm going to go ahead and thread up. I'm going to go ahead and crochet up the other ponytail that I want because I might do two space blends. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what style I'm going to do just yet, but I do know it's going to be a bun style. So it might be one bun, two buns with my twists going to the back or just straight like this and cleaned up a little bit. But I don't know. We're going to see. I'm going to second one. Sorry, y'all. This video was meant to be a short, but it's running a little bit longer because I'm actually talking through it. I wasn't going to talk through it. I was just going just go with the motion and just go through but i wanted to you know talk through it a little bit and we get in there so yeah you know just being creative being inspired and just you know versatile in your locks locks are so versatile um people who say they aren't i don't know people who say locks aren't versatile are people who don't have locks because what you can do with locks, what I see with the lock ladies be doing, killing the game, giving me inspiration all day long, okay? Listen, for my wedding, I did a half up, half down style with crochet, and I did this exact thing. I had curly hair. I crocheted the curly hair onto the ponytail holder and added it to the top of my hair. I had just big chopped in 2019, got married in 2020, so my hair was growing out from the big chop. I was able to get my hair, you know, down in braids in the back, and I just crocheted the curls into my hair. But the top part, I didn't want, I didn't want to have my whole hair crocheted. So I was like, I just slicked the top up, put the bun, and put the bun in there, and I was able to take it on and off, have some pins, make sure it was secure. And the worst that can happen is your ponytail holder pops, and then what? just put it into another just put your locks or the curly hair crochet hair whatever you're using onto another ponytail holder that's the worst that can happen is 
the ponytail with her pops and you just have to do it all over again. But you still have the hair. You still have the, the locks. You still have the crochet hair. You still can make it do what it do. So we're going to see what I'm going to do with this. With these. With these. Or you can do them separately. You can put them on together. Or you can just have the two packs of one whole ponytail. The choice is yours. The hard part is already done. I'm gonna come back and show y'all, you know, what I end up doing with these. This is the style I want with two buns, two double buns in the back. I should have pinned them up a little better. Oh, I'm brushing. I'm just gonna put some pins in my bag. But, but for the most part, it's cute, you know? So that's it y'all thanks for watching okay like i said this is supposed to be a short 